Good afternoon. It's uh, Thursday the 4th of April. Um, this is not a gardening video. This is a sort of a blog, but I'm just dandering around the garden and having a wee chat. Um, about a month ago, I went to the doctor and uh, I've been, uh, people had been remarking to me that I was walking like a duck and I was walking like a penguin <laughs> and uh, I watched some of the videos that, that I had made uh, and, and showing me walking and sure enough I hadn't really noticed this but I, I have this sort of um, I've developed this sort of um, rolling gait and I, th I put it down to um, my sciatica. My left leg ha has uh, sciatica. There's a wee snake's head fritillary. Isn't that nice? Anyway, oh, there's a few more. Anyway, um, I went to the doctor and the doctor uh, recommended me for an x-ray. The x-ray took about 10 minutes over in the Ulster and the results of the x-ray came back to uh, my doctor down in Cherry Valley. Great girl. And she said that I needed a hip replacement. Now, not life threatening or anything else and, you know, take these things on the chin uh, and you know I'm wondering what kind of future uh, the lies for so many um, men and women who are pounding the streets uh, jogging like I used to do half marathons and marathons and uh, and, and all the rest of it and uh, uh, tennis players, squash players, you know, you're saying to yourself um, what kind of uh, future are they going to require uh, joint replacements like me? Now, that, that's just by the bay. So, what's my options? I, I have three options as regards a hip replacement. Number one, do nothing. Um, it's not particularly painful, it's one of the, you know, your, your joints are wearing out, blah, 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 you, you're 65, these things happen, uh, that's life, so do nothing. So uh, I don't think that's really an option, I think that's silly. That's burying your head in the, in the, in the sand. Um, oh, look at Rosemary and Dennis's uh, PRS, isn't that nice? So the second option is uh, go for a consultation and um, uh, then an NHS consult. Oh, there's got another one at, at the back of that as well. So um, go for a consultation under the NHS and then uh, wait to be called up for a hip replacement. So. Um, Consultation, you could you could wait for quite a quite a while. You can't move forward without a, a, a consultation, and um, so I decided to go down to the Ulster Clinic with my details and uh, get this consultation done quick. Hopefully, uh, hoping that it would speed the process up. The Ulster Clinic, absolutely brilliant, uh, uh, re really super super service. Uh, but of course you're paying for it, so um, I'll, I'll pay something like um, 200 quid for that consultation. The bill hasn't arrived yet, so I can't tell you um, just how much it, uh, it's going to be. But, so, I've got the consultation, I've got the results of the, uh, the consultation, and um, we, we move on uh, for surgery. Now, under the NHS, I'm told that um, I'll be put on a wait waiting list and so these are your two options. 
waiting list for the NHS in two years plus. Now I'm not in any uh, particular pain. I got there's discomfort and and there's discomfort sleeping and and stuff like that. But it's not particularly bad. I'm still one walking about, still doing my gardening, um, and, and still doing all the silly things that I would have done, um, you know, motorbiking and all the rest of it. So two options: um, NHS two year wait and pay nothing. Or go for the private uh, clinic, Ulster private clinic, and you could be, I'm just estimating, uh, but uh, I believe I'm around about right, you, could, you, you will uh, need to be paying uh, 10000 for a hip replacement. And they can do it within, uh, you know, less than two months. So what do you do? What do you do? Um... And it's a sad reflection on our NHS that they haven't got the money to do these uh, oper these types of operations. People wait very often in pain, they haven't got the money to pay for them, and uh, it's a sad reflection on our NHS uh, funding. It's not a sad reflection on the NHS, it's a sad reflection on the NHS funding from government. Government would rather spend the money on uh, submarines uh, uh, and nuclear submarines to kill people or with the potential to kill people um, are, are, you know, I, don't, I, I just don't know. But anyway, that, that's uh, my choices. That's my choices and that will be your choices to make if you have a hip replacement. I'm not making this video as some sort of uh, crowdfunding effort. Uh, you understand that, so I'm only joking there, but um, I, I, when I make that remark, um, that's the state of play, folks. Um, now, it's a minor thing in, in the scheme of things. Uh, and if, and only if, my pain significantly increases, and the doctor at the Ulster Clinic told me uh, that it, uh, if the pain uh, increases significantly, that I need to get this done. Uh, to avoid, uh, you know, quality of life going down the drain, uh, then uh, he would he put me on his waiting list of books, so I can phone up in three months' time and say, look, doctor, I'm, I've decided, or we have decided to go through with uh, the operation uh, with the Ulster Clinic. So um, there's your options, folks, and there's my options. Because the same kind of options that apply to me will apply to you. Um, life goes on and uh, you know we'll face up to this and uh, many uh, guys and girls have had hip replacements and they've been a, a huge success. It's something like 95% uh, success rate uh, in uh, doing these operations. So, so uh, uh, we're moving on, and that's just a sort of a wee video blog. I don't usually do video blogs, but there we go. See you soon.